presents Burn and Learn in 30 Minutes with DSM Mastery. Hey guys, how is it going, Brofist? We're moving on with DSM Part 4. Explain the price sources and uh, what's like all the pricing and how you can price the items, what the price source means and how, what, what type of price sources you have, basically. It's one of the most important thing in uh, Trade Skill Master uh, add-on because uh, that will define how fast or how slow you will sell the stuff that you, you want to sell on auction house uh, the sniping the buying the shopping and everything uh, basically it's defined by price sources so you have the groups like first priority and you have the price sources and then you have everything else like operations and all that crap so we're gonna cover up today uh tsm price sources so uh, in order to explain you to uh, to this better i'm gonna use paint here again uh, because it's really easy to explain when I draw uh, things. So I'm gonna do uh, like this. So basically you have desktop application, right? Uh, that's that's an application that you have installed probably before and it looks like this. Um, I don't know if you have this version of the or the other one, but probably it looks like that uh, or similar to it. And you have uh, the pricing data. So basically this desktop application, what it does, it stores um, uh, price prices or price data on your PC. So you have like a database in your PC, right? So this is database uh, 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 with uh, created by the desktop application, right? And that's like a lot of price in a million items inside, so everything like directly pulled from the Blizzard servers and from the auction house database. So you have this data. So what? Uh, uh, and you have the TSM add-on is an interface between you and that database. So you have the TSM, and this is you, right? Let's try to uh, draw a pretty you. There you go. So that's you. All right. So what is the what are the price sources basically, or what is the custom price sources? What is a string? So basically, you want to uh, say, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna check uh, what uh, what is the price of this item basically. Uh, let's say this molten belt, right? And you're asking that. Can you tell me what is the market price like of the global of the uh, uh, global market price on the Europe region, right? So you're asking your add-on with a string or a sentence that is custom price. I mean, uh, that's the price source. The sentence that you're using to ask the, uh, the add-on TSM, so the TSM can pull that data from your database and give you returning uh, information. All right, so you're asking about that, like the belt. The belt is, I don't know, like 3,000 gold, right? So there you go. The TSM add-on is giving you back something, uh, whether you're uh, asking that through the add-on or you're asking uh, that through the chat. How we can ask that through the chat? So let's first cover up uh, what, what kind of uh, price sources and everything you have. So you have TSM sources. These are all the things that you can use as a price sources, basically. So you can use, um, uh, tell me the destroy value of this item. So if I disenchant it, what it will give me and how much it, uh, that will, uh, you know, like how much value that will give me. Like, for example, this uh, disenchants into shock crystal, let's say. Uh, how much is the shock crystal? So how much I'll get from this item or how much items I'm getting from that. So uh, Nexus crystal, you're getting one and a half Nexus crystal per disenchant. The Nexus crystal price is this much. How much is the total destroy uh, value that I'll get? So you have destroy, vendor, buy, vendor, sell. If you want to sell this, you cannot buy it from vendor. So there is no price there. Average buy, beside having, the, uh, beside having this database that is uh, from the desktop application, you have also a database in your PC that your, uh, that your TSM is creating by your uh, own experience. Like for example, you don't have desktop application, but still you have some prices on your, uh, on your items. How? Well, it actually stores some information of your buying and purchasing and selling history. So uh, if you uh, go ahead and trade someone, uh, for example, I, I want to trade uh, this belt to someone, it will, uh, TSM will ask me, do you want this trade to be remembered? Uh, he gave you 3000 gold and you gave him belt. Do you want this trade to be remembered? And you can say yes and it will actually store that information for you. So basically this uh, TSM accounting is from your own personal experience in the game. And you can access that here, slash TSM, go to account and you can see everything that you have so sold, buy, uh, bought in vendor, everywhere basically. Uh, so you can select here uh, auction, COD, uh, trade, vendor, and yeah. So this is these are my auctions. Uh, as you can see, I have lots of lots of auctions sold in the previous couple of I don't know, like month or something. And yeah, this is uh, accounting. So you have uh, uh, auction database. This is from TSM. So this uh, whole data is coming from TSM. Um, uh, TSM has own uh, its own database. 
So uh, this is based on TSM DB global historical, like how much is the historical price? You have market av average, you have minimum buyout average, global sale average, you have historical, you have market uh, market value, like how much that, uh, this item is on the market. You can see also in the uh, tooltip here. You see uh, market value is 3.7 thousand on this belt, right? And you have minimum buyout. How much this item is posted on auction house right now? Like how much? How much? Um, like for how much is on auction house right now so yeah tsm crafting you have uh, crafting material for this you see there crafting cost 13 gold so i, I need 13 gold to craft this item and uh, i can sell it for 3.8 thousand gold which gives me like 3.8 thousand profit basically uh you have material price how much are the material price that's the same pretty much as the price uh price uh, crafting cost because uh, except for the thing that uh sometimes you don't have material price like you can make things out of nothing you know there was like inscription things that you could make them out of nothing like i don't know one eternium thread you know or something like imperial silk, silk for example it, it doesn't have material price you know so yeah anyway uh, you have wo auction that's something uh, i sold something all right cool uh, and you have wo auction this is going shut down so it will not be connected anymore with tsm as we speak right now because that's what it says on the desktop application wo auction is no longer supported blah 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 so this will not be but I'll cover, you have wooauction.com, this like website, then you can go and add, uh, add like uh, any price there, I mean any item there, select the server, it will give you like, alright, this was sold then that many times in the previous like two weeks, or this is the current market price and stuff like that, so that's Woa Auction. And this is all, uh, all that you can use in your uh, in your uh, chat or in your add-on or in the operations or something. So if I want to, for example, sell this belt, how can I see how much price this will go uh, on auction house? For example, I'm going to use TSM price, link this item, and I'm going to use, let's say I want to uh, uh, sell this for 80%, 80% of the market value. So I'm going to go and uh, find the DB, DB market, I think. Yeah, market, all right. And it will tell me, all right, this is, uh, if you want to sell it for 80% of the of the market price, then this will go for 3,000. Even though it's 3.8 uh, uh, right now on auction house, it will go for 3,000. So uh, when you make operations later, uh, when I discuss the next video operations, you will see that you will have minimum, normal, and uh, maximum price. And that's pretty much um, uh, how much you want to sell it as minimum. And if it's not sells for minimum, what it should do. But we're going to cover that in operations. So I'm going to try to explain this as quick as possible. And also... Uh, yeah, custom prices. I said before, cu custom prices. How you can do those ma custom prices? All right, you can go in Trade Skill Master, open right slash TSM in your chat, and open up this stuff. And you have custom price sources. What this mean? Uh, this means that you can make like uh, my string, for example. You will have that in the description. Uh, how is my string? Like what string I'm using for selling, buying, and uh, loot appraiser and everything else. I'm gonna give you my string that I'm using, but you can uh, make your own uh, custom price uh, price uh, source if you want to. Uh, let's just name this Umrin, uh, Umrin TV, right? And I I'm gonna make, uh, I don't know, like 80% or make average average of 80% uh, of the DB, uh, DB market and uh, I don't know, like 90% of the what? 90% of the what else I can use? Like DB, DB, DB minimum buyout for example you don't use this because it's bad but you know this is like uh this is uh we're gonna make this like that right so it will co called uber and tv why i've made this because if i want to have like different custom prices and long sentences and stuff yeah uh, and uh I, I want i don't want to remember all that stuff all the all the time so you can name this for example uh transmog right so you can make a uh, custom price called transmogs this is my this is my uh, string that i'm using by the way for selling so i don't want this to remember all the time or just keep it co uh, copy pasta all the time in my in my in my clipboard or something uh and I, but I want to use it all the time, right? So how can I do that? Just make custom price, and then when you go, uh, when you go into the chat, uh, when you go into the chat, uh, slash TSM price, and name this uh, molten belt, and make Umrin two, no Umrin TV was it? Yeah, and it will tell me uh, the custom price for Umrin TV for molten belt is 3.2, uh, 3.249 gold. So basically, uh, this is how you can make the custom prices. Uh, let me uh, really quickly check if I have something else to cover. 
um, custom price. You can also use custom prices in all these uh, other selected fields, but we're gonna cover all that stuff as well later, you know, what we need to do. All these operations, as you can see, have uh, average buy and uh, umren, and then you have something else. This is Shera profile, Zionic and Shera, really awesome stream, really awesome uh, channel as well. Check them out, twitch.tv slash Zionic and Shera. I'm gonna link that in the description for this profile. It's made by them. But I have customized it and make uh, modified it to work better and uh, you know serve my, my own uh, my own basically uh, liking and uh, I I have made some new groups and I have made some other groups as well that were or modified the groups and I have modified the operations you see I I'm using my own uh, selling and, and and yeah but we're gonna cover that uh, you know profiles and stuff we're gonna cover in the, some of the next videos I think that was most of the stuff that I wanted to say about TSM price sources. And uh, if you have any questions, guys, feel free to uh, ask uh, in the comments. As always, I'll be answering your comments. As always, like 99.9% .9 of the comments I'm trying to answer. And if you have any uh, any other suggestion, uh, what I forgot uh, about price sources and stuff, feel free to also t tell me that. And I'm going to be trying to cover the, uh, those stuffs as well. Learn the price sources. Uh, learn how to use the price sources. It's really, really important stuff if you want to make your own profile. If you don't want to make your own profile, then probably you can use mine or Zionic and Shera or someone else. It's up to you. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. You've been awesome. Brofist, love you much. No homo. Until the next time, stay cool, listen to your parents, and humor and off. Special thanks to all those who are supporting me on Patreon. Proscribe, follow, support me on Patreon, win awesome prizes, get early access to guides and more, or check some of the previous stuff. Today we're going to discuss about uh, TSM Mastery Part 3, which will cover up the groups and everything that you need to know about the groups, uh, including...